Hi and welcome to another NET Vapor review. Today's review is completely different. Um, if you watch my reviews up to now, you know that I uh, vape on all sorts of devices from mouth to lung, direct to lung, uh, RTAs, stock oil. Um, everyone was talking about pods, pods, pods. Everywhere I went, I hear pods, pods. So I decided to give it a go. And this is my first pod device. And my thoughts, that's what we're going to talk about in this review. This pod is the UL Caliburn pod kit. It's very light. I love this color. This is the blue. It's more like a greenish blue, but I like it. It's very nice. As all pods, this is the pod. It holds two mil and it's got a 1.4 ohm coil and not like other pods that it is laying on the ground you know um, flat this is standing up so I assume that this is more of a ordinary stock coil tank system so the flavor is much much better and I'll come to that in a minute um, the, it comes obviously uh, with the battery I think it's a 500 something uh, ma and this just clicks in it's a magnetic you have to give it a bit of an extra push and you can see there's small little windows at the side that you can see where your e liquid is standing level USB charge on the, on the back and, the, and, uh, and uh, that's what it is really it's a pod I have been vaping on this I was debating what e-liquid should I put in here because my naturally extracted I vape on the RTAs and the fruit flavors I, I vape on direct to lung RTAs or stock oil so I was debating what I should put in here um, before I'll tell you what I put in here, the pods, it comes in a box um, and you get the instructions book, some warnings and in here you've got a USB cable and an extra pod and it's a very nice touch that you get two pods in the kit so in case one pod is faulty or something like that, you get another one I also got um, extra four pods in a box and over here it says clearly 1.4 ohm um, yeah so that's that's really not much to talk about there's nothing to talk about here you just fill up ah there's one thing I forgot to mention it's a top fill normally with the pods you get this little type of rubber or silicon sealant that you just stick in your and it's very very messy this is very simple you just lift this up um, I just don't want to do it gently because it's full of liquids but I just wanna you lift this up let me get my nail in there there we go and you can see there's two ports so you fill up from here if it's 70 VG for instance this will cope with very very well in fact you put in from both holes so when you put in one hole you'll see the pressure the air pressure is, the air is coming out from the other one and slowly slowly it's filling up both chambers to speed up things you can do both holes and then you just plug this down and that's all this is the tank holding two mil and you got the magnetic from the other side and um, fire and the touch where it gets um, fired by the battery in there this is what it is and you just push it in and that is it now I've been vaping this since this morning so I put in I didn't want to put in naturally extracted 
um, because I've got them ready on my K phone and my others. So I put in. Um, I once had someone gave me a Manabush e liquid. Manabush, it's a tobacco, of course, tobacco, NET vapor, uh, but with um, extra added notes to it. So, I mean, the Manabush, uh, the, um, it's called the Mojave Dessert. Tobacco, honeysuckle, and mixed fruit. Um, yeah, the Manabush. So, I haven't vaped it on any other device. I decided I'll put it in the pod and see what it feels like. So, let's give it a vape. So, you, oh, one thing. You've got two options on this. Either direct inhale, and this is inhale activation. And you've got a button here that you can choose to vape by pressing the button. So, you can do both ways. So if one fails, if the automatic uh, inhale activation fails, you could always resort to the button. But I've noticed something interesting, that it gives you a certain amount of time to inhale either mouth to lung or direct to lung. Let's try it mouth to lung. I'm doing now without pressing the button. It cuts out after a second or two. If I do direct inhale, it keeps on going. So because I, what I, what I think it is, is because when you do a mouth to lung, your automatic, as your mouth fills up with the vape, you are reducing the inhale pressure, so to speak on the mechanism, so it feels like as if you stopped inhaling. Let's try it again. See, it stopped. But if I do, if I press the button, same thing happens. So unless, and if I do direct inhale, both mechanism, let's try the button now. then it doesn't stop. So there is, if you have a very strong inhale action, it will carry on so long as you're inhaling. But if you are sort of, in the beginning, you're inhaling fairly strongly, and then suddenly you're reducing the pressure, it will stop. This is a mouth too long. Stopped. The flavor, is superb i can't believe it this is a pod i never tried a pod before um well let, let's rephrase it i never bought a pod but i did try the orion i can't remember and the spire um uh, all in one the flavor from those were okay the flavor from this is like a like a tank like a stock oil tank that's all uh, superb. You can taste the tobacco in here, you can taste some caramel, it's sweetish. Um, it's got a fruity note to it. Manabush excel in, um, in this uniqueness of their e-liquids. I've got quite a few of Manabushes. I've got the Pow Pow Wow, and I've got the uh, Omusa, and I've got something I think is also to do with um, it's with um, Tamahak, tobacco and fig, caramel. Um, when I bought the EH Pro from Nature Vapes, he put in that e that e juice with it, so I have that as well. I think it's from Manabush family. But I wanted something in the pod, something with complex flavor to it. So I thought I'll give Manabush a try on this one and it comes out in flying colors.
very interesting flavor. It's not an all-day vape, for sure not. It's a very desserty, sweet, tobacco-y flavor to it. This is nice for if you're hungry or if you fancy a piece of chocolate or and you fancy and you don't want you're on your diet or something and you want something sweet to replace um, uh, eating chocolate or something, go for the Manabush Mojave Mojave Mojave, Mojave dessert. Um, yeah, it's quite nourishing, I must say, but if I vape on this for a good half an hour, I think, oh, a bit too much. I'll go back to my uh, Black Note or any other NET that I'm using. Yeah, this is not... Uh... Anyway, this is... I must recommend this to anybody who wants to quit smoking and wants something light. It is so light. It's, it weighs nothing. You just put it in your pocket or, or if you're a woman in your handbag or in your jacket, anywhere. For instance, I think I'm going to take this when I travel with, uh, to the airport. It's so light. It's so discreet. And you can grab a vape anywhere in a corner. But not, a, not major vapor. But you get your nicotine fix. And it's well designed, it's aluminium. You've got these grooves on the side that match also the top, the drip tip. I don't know if you can see it. Very nice, very nice design. And it's, it's so short. I mean, for instance, this is the k with the with the, um, oh, what was it called, this mod again? Um, the Wismec P80. I mean, look at this. And it weighs a fraction. And it's just so easy, you just keep an extra pod with another e-liquid. But if I travel, I'm gonna take with me another NET, obviously, or fruit, I've got four, it comes with two pods already, so you got two and I don't know how long they'll last me. That's another thing that I'll have to update. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. But I'm not going to vape this day in, day out, so it'll last longer than normal if someone will vape it. But they don't, it's not expensive. Um, I think I paid £11 for, for a pack of four. And the mod itself, the kit, the as a kit, it came, I think it was 20 uh, Six ninety nine or something like that. So it's quite reasonable. If you Google it, uh, you'll find um, it's not so. You can't find them on the websites. Um, a lot of them are out of stock. Um, I got it from. Um, what was the name? Hold on, I'll tell you. Um, E-Sig 1. E-Sig 1. Um, I think it was... What's the website? E-Sig 1. E-C-I-G-O-N-E dot co dot UK. And I paid for it uh, 11 99 for the for the pack of four pods and 26 99 for the kit and uh, first class shipment 299 total 3807 so it's very reasonably priced this for me <clears throat> one minute this for me is ideal for travel or as a backup um, I don't some if I travel abroad I don't want to carry my k or any other RTA in my pocket or very heavy because you're traveling you don't know you want something light you don't want something to be too heavy this is ideal this I put in my handbag and this I keep in my jacket and whenever I want a bit of a vape I just go someplace and 
I mean, look, it doesn't even direct to long. Just the amount of, just the right amount of vapor. And the flavor is superb. The flavor is just as good as the Zenith or any stock oil, Spire, mouth to lung. You can get at it. I'm, I'm direct alonging it all the time because mouth to lung, it seems that it cuts out after a while. I'll try it again, even when I press. See, it cut out. You can hear it. Cuts out after a second or two. But it's just a just amount of vapor if you want to do that. I'll be direct along. You just, without even pressing the button, as long as you keep the pressure on the nail, it carries on working. Altogether, the, con the advantages of this is 2 mil stock coil, 1.4 ohm, proper coil, um, standing upright so you get the full flavor like a proper stock oil. Magnetic, just easy. To fill in you just lift this up, put in, stop fill, mess free, no leakage, no nothing, completely leak free. It doesn't drop off, it's quite solid. Um, very nice feel to the touch. Nice design. It charges within an hour. It's fully charged. You get the light here. You can see if it's green, it's fully charged. If it's orange, it needs recharging. If it's red, it's about to go. I think that's uh, that's the colors. You can look in the... Well, I can look over here. Oh, I need my reading glasses for this one. Sorry. Oh, I can't see it. Um, you got sorry for you got blue when it's green it's 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 within 30 to, um, over 60 um, when it's blue it needs it's going down to 30 and when it's uh, 30 is 60 to 30 and when it's uh, red it needs flashing it needs um, recharging and when it flashes 10 times that um, it stopped output. So you vapor, I suppose, uh, with mouse to lung, short burst of vaping, it will last you for sure the day. So it's ideal. Ah, I just thought of a solution. If you find that it cuts out uh, um, after two seconds and it's not enough for you, I just discovered what you do is you do multiple inhaling. Watch. So you get the right amount of vapor, as if you're direct lunging it, but mouth to lung. And then it doesn't cut out, because each time you draw again, you're drawing with the full pressure. Oh, that's a good idea. I just discovered it. Anyway, this is the review on the UL Caliburn. Um, box comes like this, yep, Caliburn, and you get the color on the top here, I love this color, everyone you got red, blue, black, uh, rainbow, all sorts of colors. I must say that for my first pod, I'm very happy about it, very, very happy. The UL, if you saw my previous review, the UL Crown 4 is an excellent director lung, but that's a massive kit. It weighs maybe like 10 of these or more. But um, for a pod, this is superb. It's got everything. You can even check the e-liquid through the window, but well, it takes a second to lift. Yeah, I think I've gone through everything with this pod. Um, I am very, very happy and I fully recommend this to a smoker who would like to start vaping. You can put in here 
this is a 12 milligram um, nick you can put in here as high as you want you can take nixols i don't like nixols but if you like nixols it'll take very easily nixols and uh, it's a perfect replacement for a cigarette if you put in here a naturally extracted or any tobacco or fruit whatever ticks you um yeah superb kit look at this sweet small and perfect flavor the manna bush is already too sweet for me let me give myself a vape on a naturally extracted mm. naturally extracted tobacco delicious anyway this was the review on the UL Caliburn pod Caliburn pod kit I hope it was helpful um, if you have any comments leave them below I will gladly answer if any question or advice until the next review enjoy your vape bye bye for now